composing gloves here, and today we're looking at making sounds for interfaces. Movie interfaces, you have a fancy movie thing, and you want it to go stuff like that. That would be like this stuff popping up. Here. And very, very similar sound. What is that? Is that it sounds like the same thing. Uh, it sounds like a sonic sound though. Let me show you what I'm talking about because I sound like a crazy person. So I was sent this video and they were like, Dude man bro, can you help me make sounds like the ones that Sergey Ibog has done. Can you do sounds like that? This is what it sounds like. It's interface sounds. See, pretty much exactly what I said. Like the exact same thing. There's a whole bunch of this. If you look down here, um, the rules. So he, this was for a contest. He actually, he won. Look at this. Got first place. Good job. It says the rules were to create the sound design for the UI video using only a white noise file. So like, okay. Let's do this. A uh, white noise file. All right, let's come in here. First, we got to get some white noise. I wasn't given a file, so we're going to do that. So in Citrus, you can just put on the noise operator and you get white noise. Um, so now let's go to its channel. Hit Control E, loads up a Edison, put record on. Now we have white noise to work with. So, okay, cool. Let's just take this bit and bam. I might be going, working with white noise might be kind of hard, like... And we don't need to work with white noise, but I just want to show you some things you can do with white noise that are pretty interesting. So the main parts of these sound design elements is just being really uh, smart with your resampling methods and then volume vibrato automation. Those two, frequency modulation and amplitude modulation are going to be like mega super useful. Almost everything is that in some form, along with a fair amount of filtering. Now, the cool thing about white noise is as you zoom in here, oh, that's right, we're, we're, let's open this in another Edison. Now, as we zoom in, white noise is just random frequencies, right? It's, 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 each frequency has a equal amount of being triggered. So we look at this and we say, okay, look at this. We got like sine waves to pick from. I mean, we got all kinds of stuff. Basically, if they give you white noise, that's like they just gave you every kind of waveform you could want. So let's go ahead, let's just pick one. Um, let's go with one that's pretty centered around the middle. That's going to be kind of useful. Uh, let's let's see here. Hmm, this could be this could be interesting. We're going to take this. It's just a, a snippy snappy. That's what it is. Teeny teeny tiny. Um, do they have like a remove DC offset thing? Why does it look like a square wave? It ain't no square wave. What is this? What is this? Um, let's remove DC offset. Oh, look at that. That's very nice. Okay, so now... We need a bunch of these, and we're gonna make a basically a tiny oscillator from it. So we're gonna go boop. Now I'm just sort of doing this off the cuff, okay? So I, I don't I don't know exactly what I'm gonna do with this yet. This this looks good though. Let's just keep doing this. And we'll do this again. Oh my gosh, it's getting big. It's growing up. Um, one more time, and whoops. Oh geez, take it easy. Don't go too crazy. Here's what we got. Ah, okay. So let's um, let's let's get rid of this. Actually, I I want this here. We're gonna need it maybe. So we'll turn that. We'll just turn that off. Bam. Now we got that. So now let's just snap an Edison on this jazz. We turned a click into that. Not nothing too revelatory yet. We go on play. We'll hit play. Perfect. Now we have a little oscillator thing. So we'll take that in. Let's see if we can't get this to do stuff. Uh, let's do a DC offset again. And eh, first click could be useful. I don't know. No, I don't like that first click. The first click is not that useful. Let's get rid of it. It should be. Oh, I'm on stretch. I'm on stretch mode, I think. Uh, right there. Wrong thing. Okay, there we go. Look at that. It's beautiful. Let's make that unique. Yeah, I want that to be unique. What are you, joking me? Oh, you got to make it unique as a sample. Rookie mistake. Make unique as sample. Yeah, sure. Give it a weird name that I won't remember. Okay, uh, let's color it something so that I know that this one's special. So we'll go to change color. 
Let's make this one orange. Okay, cool. Now we have an orange thing. Now all we gotta do is stick this in some sort of an engine. I'm gonna use Harmer. Why not? Super versatile, right? So let's open up this and open up Harmer. I don't know if there's a way to have like sticky windows without using detached. Someone, If someone knows, you should let me know. Bring this into the image and now we have it in here. Uh, and, um, yeah, we won't worry about advanced stuff. I guess we could bring precision up to perfect. What the heck? Um, and so we got this. And we could, of course, pick many parts of that waveform and use that. But this is what I'm going to work with. And let's, um, let's go over some of the sounds we got here. Yeah, so there we go. Let's see here. We got like this cricket kind of sound. That sounds like it would just be a really high note, kind of soft with some volume automation. Let's go for it. So let's um, let's go over here and select this area. And this will be our, our cricket. Cricket. Uh, that's totally not how you spell cricket. And his is kind of fast. It's going pretty dang quick. Do I have two? No, only one. Wow, it's much softer, way too loud. Okay, let's see. Uh, that's pretty dang fast too. So I'm going to um, stretch these out. This is a tool I don't use very much. Maybe a little soft. He has one more. Okay, so now with these sorts of things, I mean, I could go for his exact sound, but there's a little a little bleeping sound. Like, doo -doo 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 -doo, and then we could, you know, filter it a little. Uh, we could add a bit of verb, perhaps, a very a touch. Like that, nothing crazy. Maybe we could mess with some pitch differences. You know, that's a little stereo for you. And now, uh, this could be interesting. Let's try the vibrato, but like really fast. That's a terrible idea. Let's try the tremolo. And the tremolo gives that crunch. And there you go, you have a little beeping interface. A lot of times these things are just soft. Soft as can be. If we turn them up loud, they're gonna be really annoying, but turning them soft makes them sort of fit because they're tiny elements on the screen. Tiny elements is generally soft elements. Uh, we could try adding a bit of resonance. That's kind of nice if that's the kind of thing you're into. So this offset, I'm, I'm touching Harmer like everyone knows Harmer. If you don't know Harmer, uh, if you don't, you can't tell. Sort of an expectation, you know a little bit about sound and design and whatnot and synths. So I have series for like Harmer and Citrus and all those, so you can go check those out. If you're like, what what is he touching? I don't understand what that does. So this is an offset. I'm moving the resonance around to just see if there's a pocket that could add interest to this. That's interesting. Now, we also have this in here. Let's see. Wow. Hey, that could be cool for some backwards, some like button things like whoa. So for that kind of stuff, we could, uh, okay, so we have our, our first beep sound. That could be kind of cool. Let's move this uh, offset thing. What about over here? We have another one. No. It's got to be that one. And what we could do is we could make these, like, shorter. What do you sound like, Laura? And then we could make one like a little longer. 
for like elements like what do we have here we have a couple elements here like i'm just basically just gonna use the same video <laughs> Oh yeah, we got all these blah, 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 all this kind of stuff there. I mean, we could just make some of them like randomly. Sh Maybe that's too much noise. When when now I had to do a project, I was in charge of sound effects and music of uh, for a tiny version of the original Alien movie for my senior project. Basically, it wasn't really a senior project. I had to do it for. The certificate and later it turned into an associate's degree um at citrus college and i was we i was part of a team that was really good so i focused mostly on this kind of like sound effects and stuff uh but samples can go a long way with this kind of stuff too like for example for the alien ripping out of the guy's chest or girl's chest i can't even remember anymore um i watched the scene like a million times too uh, we used like paper mache. We went in the studio and we also used a pumpkin. We smashed a pumpkin in the studio with hammers, recorded that and the slow cracks and the same thing with like some old paper mache, which just made this great cracking noise. Um, let's go ahead and, and get some stuff over here. Maybe that's just a little too quick. And let's see if we can do some more interesting filtering. Let's see, band stop. And that's this stuff we want to be a little more washed out, yeah. And how fast are we going here? Like, how fast is this UI stuff popping up exactly? What is it? Period. So we'd have like a maybe a beep there and the do do, uh, some noise for that for sure. Uh, but that would be like in the background. And then like a dude, so we, so if we'd have like a dude, 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 uh, that would be like, so this is just like small stuff. So maybe this stuff, maybe all together, each element, that would be a lot more interesting. So we'd have like a dude, 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 dude. That would be like this stuff popping up. He's got like a high, beep, 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 beep. beep. What is it? What is that? Oh, maybe that goes with the timer right there. Oh, it totally does. It goes exactly with the timer. That's very nice. I might have a little bit of mumbly jumbly stuff here for that. Maybe it's like a dual thing. It's definitely synced with the timer though. And it kind of goes with this. So it's like a two in one kind of sound approach. Um, I want to make something for like this popping up. So I'm thinking like a, like a two, you know, one of those things. He has some of that stuff later in his. Uh, let's clone this because we're going to go with the same white noise sound. We worked hard to get that sound. But we're going to keep it. So, okay, there's there's some sounds right there. Let's go for another thing. Um, on this one, I want like a pew kind of thing. One of those. A, a glide. How long is it? It's probably super fast. I should count one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, somewhere around one, two, three, four, five. Okay. So we got one, two, three, four, five. Oh, so somewhere out here. Very technical here. We are matching the we are matching this. Normally I'd bring the footage in and do some stuff. Uh, their video player has gotten better too. It, the, when I did Alien, everything was so hard to sync up. It was always off by like several frames. And when I imported it into Pro Tools the sync issues I had to like account for and then move by offsets in milliseconds that we calculated. It was really, uh, it, it sucked. It wasn't fun. All right. This is a test to how much I like Harmer. I um, I tried synthesizing a guy walking on a beach watch in, in, once in this. It was really hard. It was totally not worth it. You should just record someone walking on a beach. So now that's like not gonna work, right? That's just too much. So um, what we can do is we could try and fade it to the back by just sort of blurring it out. Um, volume automation here again is your friend. And maybe not so much pitch band. And also register is important with this kind of stuff. And that's in the filter right here.
Maybe like two bends with like a, a note reset. Oh, you know what? No, it should just sit still. That's a better, that's a better feel. So it sits down, you see it, ah, uh, you know, like, and it's like picked up speed and it's just sitting there. That makes more sense. I like the tremolo we got going. Oh, you know what? We could automate that. So um, we'll do that in the piano roll. So we'll have that. Jeez, that's a tiny value though. How, how loud is that? Is that too much? Let's detach this. So it's, it's, uh, this window is so big. Ugh. So, okay. What do we? I'm gonna grow a little bit. You know how machines are always just making weird noises? That's nice. You could run with something like that. Um, now, what I would do is produce like a bunch of sounds that could be potential candidates and then just pitch them to the group. And I've learned, man, whenever I'm doing work for a client, you just separate yourself from that work and just say, look, whatever you want me to do to this thing, I'm going to do it. Unless it's like a project where I'm like, art, my artistic vision is involved. You got I feel like there has to be some level of integrity, but I mean, it's your call. Like this kind of stuff, you know, they're just like sounds that I'm trying to be cool with. Usually I'm, I'm pretty good at just saying, hey, whatever, if you think it sucks and you want, so I would miss the mark. You tell me, I'll, I'll change it. Um, you'll keep your job if you do that. <laughs> uh, I've seen some really interesting things go down with certain sound decisions. <clears throat> okay, so there we go. We got that sound knocked out of the park. So that's like our, our stuff there coming down. That's pretty, that's an interesting, let's go with the, the, the cricket kind of sound. So we could go like do, 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 do. And there we do the video and sync up notes with the video. At least that's how I do it. I'm just going to alter our, our um, let's just alter our top sound for this. And get rid of that. That's... I mean, honestly, I think it could be like this simple. Maybe. A little bit shorter. Oops. Now we have that little blip at the beginning. I'm not the biggest fan of that, so I'm going to change the offset and the speed. And maybe not as bright. That could be really useful, though, if you needed to cut through a bit more. I have a filter. Oh, the filter. This is a low pass. That shouldn't be doing nothing. So this has two modes. You see a round fundamental and below fundamental. So a round fundamental uh, will put things around the fundamental. I don't remember like the exact ways this works anymore, um, but I know that these two have different harmonic relations depending on if it's around or below. You can just hit F1 and figure it out like real fast. The point is you know that these are not, these are around the fundamental at this point. They're like, I think it's like a fifth, a fifth above it. One of them is a fifth and then another one is some other thing. Uh, that could be pretty interesting. We could have that. That could be like our version of the sound. Easy peasy. Uh, and this is sort of just worth knowing. If you come in here, and turn the resonance up or the width up and change this to noise, you'll get some really interesting um, resonancy sorts of blips and blops. And these like control basically the blips and the blops. So change the speed. You could get like computer sounds and things. They, they, they can be kind of cool if you're also the music guy. You can toss fully into your music. And that's something that I've actually come to notice is can sometimes be a problem. When the music guy writes a cue that has also kind of sound effects and they want to change something about that, 
that's when I became a little bit ticked off because that was a lot more work to fix. But hey, I learned a lesson. Be careful how you choose to write things. Okay, cool. So there's that. Like that's that's just another trick we could have here for elements that are moving around the screen. Let's see what other kind of sounds do we have in here. Oh, oh yeah, we got the dynamic panning. That's that's really nice. If you're listening over speakers or something, that might be lost on you. Hey, where's the picture? So there's a bunch of sounds here. We have this like, um, we can see the noise has been like heavily high passed and then there's like some sort of a volume filter on that. So maybe let's go back to our noise here and we say, hey, we unmute you noise. Let's get rid of these. Oh, that was quite nice looking. Um, and I'm just gonna duplicate this, whatever. Do 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 and let's make something similar to you to you and let's send you to a channel and toss a fruity love filter on you it's been a while since i've touched this but we want a look at these delicious flavors vanilla high pass of course uh this could be really loud so i'm gonna just save myself Ah, oh, let's see. All right. Resonance can be another thing. Resonance, things like that can always be pretty interesting. So we have this. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to create a volume automation. And we're just gonna do that. And I'm going to change the point type to line. Or not line, wave. Wave can be cool. We're gonna bump it up here. And there, the very similar sound. What is that? That, that sounds like the same thing. Ah, oh, his is even more high pass. I think you're so cool. Just kidding. I don't know who this is. Probably a really cool guy. Sorry if I've said anything that has made you angry. I, it'd actually be pretty cool to meet you. You did a good job. All from white noise. This is a, a fun challenge. So that's pretty cool. Uh, what else do we got here? I'm gonna stop there. I mean, we could keep going with like small details, but the base of what's going on is sort of that. He's got some stereo stuff on his. Okay, I said I was gonna stop, but okay, I want I want some stereo stuff. Just type in stereo. What do we got here? I'm gonna go with this. And we're gonna go here and then push that. The most specific tutorial on the planet. Let's toss an EQ on actually after. Uh, parametric, type para. Nah, we're gonna go with. Something like that, why not? Okay, let's go back, let's see what else we got here. I don't know how many of these I'm gonna do. This is a bit slower, and there is some lower stuff. So this is a time skip. I'm just gonna save you from not having to watch something that didn't really work. So I tried something with some noise, it didn't really work. I'm gonna go for a different sound that's in this video. So I'm gonna come over and continue to look at this sort of, with all these things sort of going on. So we have this like high pass filter coming on really quickly, boop, 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 boop. and then there's like some sort of a pitch rise. So I'm gonna go for that kind of a thing. So we already actually have like a, a high pass sound right here. So what I'm thinking is maybe we could take the same sound and recycle it. And what we could do is add a um, another filter, another love filter. And this one could just be up here. We'll do one of these. And of course, you'd probably sync this to the picture, but not us. No way, Jose. Um, change this to a low pass. Hey, are you on the same channel? Doesn't sound like you're doing anything. You're on the wrong channel. Gosh, gosh dang it. I'm sitting there going, why is this sound? This should shut it down. Okay, love filtered is over here. Wow, I said I typed in, did I type in glove? I think I might have typed in glove. Uh, anyways, gonna do the same thing. 
get rid of that. Oh my goodness. Okay. Now these are like really, they're really fast little things happening on the screen. So I don't know if this is too fast or not. We're going to have to open the filter up some more. Let's uh, just pull this up. This is, that's volume automation. We should open up the actual filter. And let's go to the filter filter, free love filter, the first. And we'll automate that as well. Sounds like we've got one of these things just moving up along with a some sort of a secondary filter. I'm going the wrong way. There you go. That could be something popping up on the screen. Oh yeah, that. That's an interesting thing. Let's do that. Let's also. What is that? I want to find that noise sound we just did. That thing. It's a. Theirs is quite a bit faster. So, if I mean, if we were being really detailed, I'd come in here and do each one individually. Sounds like they. He did something synced there. I don't know. And quite a bit quicker. We could actually make this an LFO too. There's like official LFO like options, but you know, you know how it goes. Maybe they all need to be high. There you go, something like that. There's, there's the thing. And then the thing pops up on the screen, like, oh, there's a captain. And then there's like a beep, beep. And then the captain pulls a lever and there's several more beeps and like a wah, 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 wah. And then stuff like that. You know, now you're thinking like a crazy person. Uh, let's go for that. I like that. That thing. What does that even go to? Did that, does that go to anything? It sounds like there's something specific it goes to. Nope, it's just a background noise. Okay, let's make it. Why not? Uh, that sounds to me, I'm going to break the rule here. You can go through, and there's ways to get a square wave out pretty easily. Um, I'm just going to skip straight to the square wave. And it sounds filtered-ish. Bring this down. Bring the volume way down. Um, turn on the pitch automation. Volume. I know you're on here. You're on, like, the first area. Phaser pitch. Ha-ha, found you. Do one of these. Um, it's gonna be kind of quick. Hey, oh, that's from our cricket. I was like, that looks like similar to what we need. That's not what I'm messing with. Where the heck is this one? Harmer three. Turn the resonance off. In and off noise. Okay, okay. Now we're already pretty close. Somewhere up here-ish. Way too slow. Also, I turned it down. Maybe too much. These need to be the same length so they end at the same spot in the pitch envelope. Okay, let's make this more aggressive. Mess with the D2. Uh, maybe D2 in the other direction. Now that, this is too slow. There's just like super quick. Do, do, do. You know, like super fast. Uh, ours is a bit bright. Let's uh, add a phaser to this.
try a different. Oh, that could be cool. Sounds like a sonic sound, though. Oh, I like that one, too. Phasers can be really nifty, and when you're playing such high notes, phasers tend to act more like just gates, so they could be pretty handy. Let's go a little bit lower. Right there, there's a cool option. Let's go to, like, eggs. Now, that one doesn't quite nail it. I actually think I was closer in another project I was working on. Um, but I don't remember exactly what I did to get there. That tends to be the thing with these kinds of things. It sounds like a pretty simple... Oh, you know what? Let's, um, let's go with just... And then go up to a higher note. And let's just high pass it. Sounds like we might be going up instead of down. Yeah. Maybe a second phase, it's a little different. You know, a billion options. I could sit here and try and get exactly what, what he got. Uh, but that's fine. I think I'm gonna stop here too, because there's just a bunch, we could just keep going. And there's just lots of little things. You go in, you, you make adjustments, you do a thing, you go again, again, put it up with a picture. If it's not what you want, you adjust it. And there's just options galore. It can be kind of intimidating when you're first starting out, um, if you've never done it before, because it's you're looking at all these knobs. But if you know synthesis, uh, and uh, you just gotta start, I, I recommend with just starting with like short things, being like, oh, hey, do this short thing here. And also watching what other people have used um, that can often spark inspiration. And now we're just going pure synthesis approach, which can be pretty hardcore. Having samples to work with and going out and getting your own samples can often just break down doors when it comes to coming up with things that go there that make sense to put there. If you have any questions, let me know down in the comments below. Subscribe and have a blessed day.